Thanks, Krista. Okay, recording. So steps to success. Your very first step is to be commission qualified. Okay, and again, one thing that Pam did say last night, and this isn't what it, what I just forgot, but one thing that she said was that your distributors are going to follow your lead on what you say. So you make the rules, okay? You make the rules on running your business like a business right off the bat. So when your new distributors come in, you have this conversation about the ADBV auto shipment. You have this conversation letting them know that in order for them to be a successful business owner, you reinvest in your business. You buy the products for ADBV to become commission qualified, to get your own results, and to have product on hand for other people to try, period. You are paying yourself back. You are reinvesting into your business because in traditional business owners, it takes a lot of money to start up a business, doesn't it? We're asking for 80 BV. You run your own business like a business owner. And when you come off confident because you run your business that way, your team will too. Okay. But if you come out of the gate, like, Ooh, like, it's fine. If you don't run it, like, it's fine. Like, just make sure that you get your customers, but like, really make sure that you get your customer. You guys, what if they get all the, all of their customers and then one customer returns it and that distributor doesn't get paid. Wouldn't you like, throw up and not sleep at night because you told them like, it's fine. If you just get your 150 BV, like just get the minimum. It's cool. And then somebody returns something and you don't get paid. Okay. Running that 80 BV auto shipment mandatory. You are getting a paycheck. Okay. You are also getting product to try yourself. You are also, okay. I'm not going to like spend all night on this, but like you get the point. The first step is getting yourself commission qualified. Also, if y'all are trying to be like number one, which is Stephanie and Joel Dunn, they run their auto shipment and require, I kind of don't like that word. I don't think they require, but they, this is like a standard in their business. They have their team run their auto shipments on the first of every month so that nobody has any excuses whatsoever to not know where they are at on the first of the month. They've got their game plan. They know what rank they're going for. They know what rank they come, they, they are when, when that pops up commission qualified, when they run it their first month or their first day of the month, they're going to get their products in their first week. They've got product to do pop-ups or do whatever. And that first week of the month, it sets them up for success. Okay. So on our team, I think that it should be a new thing where we at least try to do it from the first through the 15th. Now, I could just say everybody has to run it on the first, but it's like, no. Okay. Listen, I understand that there is, um, that there are newbies on this team. And so for me setting that precedent, what I think is, you know, we have all the way until the 25th to do that. But me personally, I think that everybody should be running it between the first and the 15th. Y'all, we get paid from it works on the 15th. Reinvest that paycheck. That should be a non-negotiable. That should be like, when you see what you're getting paid, let's say your, your paycheck is $300 you see what you're getting paid. You don't look at any other bills because as a business owner, you wouldn't look at any other bills before you paid for your rent of your, of your business, of where you, um, where you like have your business. You guys know what I'm saying? Like a brick and mortar. You would like, that's the first thing, right? You have to keep your lights on. You have to pay that bill. Okay. So to keep your lights on, to keep your business reinvesting in itself, that first $80 of whatever that paycheck is, even if it's 81 bucks, it better be reinvesting into your business because you guys, this is a business. This is a business. This isn't a job. Okay. And if you continually do that, you will see the profits from it. You will see how much your paycheck will just start to snowball so much more because not only are you doing it yourself, but you're teaching your new teammates to do it too. And that is more volume. And Pam said, um, another thing that Pam said was that, your old distributors, like old distributors that joined and then quit, go through your connect app, reach out to those distributors because they're the best customers. They love the products. They joined for a reason, right? Maybe it wasn't for them, but the old distributors are your best customers is what she said. I love that. How many of you have really reached out to those old distributors who have quit or, or didn't really want to do this? You can use your connect app and you can go to the DT section and just send a small message of like, you know, we just got three new products that are clinically proven from Dr. Nassif. Do you want some more info? How simple is that? 
You know what I mean? Or didn't you love the greens? I remember that you love the greens or the coffee or whatever it may be and see if they'll become a customer for you. Okay. Um, so anyways, that's the first thing. Get yourself commission qualified. The second thing is to sign four loyal customers. And I want y'all to remember, I don't know if Katie Main is on here, but me and Katie had this conversation months ago now when she came to me and was like, literally, she was one that would sign like over 30 to 50 customers a month. Okay. When she first joined, she was a freaking machine. Okay. And then when like, we forgot about steps to success, I was like, Katie, four, four. If you're signing your four, you're being successful. Pam Souter built a business. Cami Pentecost built a business. Every, like everybody that you look up to built a business based on these steps to success. Okay. If you build your business based around getting yourself commission qualified, getting four new loyal customers each and every month and bringing in three new distributors each and every month. Did everybody write that down? Four new customers, three new distributors. I know for some of you, this is like old news. Some of you are like, okay, I might as well just start my messaging now because Rochelle's talking about steps to success again. Like I get it, but this needs to be ingrained. This needs to be when a new distributor comes into our business a week later, we should be able to say, do you know what your steps to success is? And they should be able to send you a screenshot of their steps to success printed out. That's how ingrained this needs to be. Okay. If the queen... Hey, can I say something oh. real quick? Yes, Sorry to interrupt you. I'm just like sweating over here. No, cause this has to do with the steps. So, um, for those of you who have watched that 90 day run zoom, um, Chad Canneller, who he's an ambassador diamond. Um, he said that he has over the past, I think six, maybe seven years. I can't remember how long he's been in the business for, but he is consistently asked people at events, conference, green carpets, leadership retreats, all of these things that he's involved with. He has always asked them, um, if they complete their steps. And he said, there's not one person in the company who completed their steps every month for a year straight, who is anything below a double diamond, which that's pretty cool because, um, that can mean somebody's completing their steps one time a month. It can be, and they're a double diamond. It can be three times a month and they're a presidential diamond. Like, but so, Every single person that he has talked to who's completed their steps every month for 12 consecutive months is nothing below a double diamond. And like, how duplicatable is that? You know, so, uh, I mean, imagine you yourself doing that, but then imagine you ingraining this and teaching your team the same thing. And how, however many people you have on your team, whether it's one person, five, 15, however many it is. And imagine all of them completing their steps for 12 months and they would all be double diamonds. I mean, you would probably be ambassador, but that's really cool. So continue. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's just, it just makes sense. Like it just makes sense. And if you guys are just able to really duplicate that, because I think that that's where I have failed for the last three years. And like, Another thing I was just on a zoom with, um, with Emily Carr and I was like admitting to them, like as a leader, you guys, we fail all the time. Like there are so many of you that might not feel like you're worthy of being a leader or you're worthy of like leading a team. Listen, we all like, no matter if we're prez or double or, or ambassador or whatever, we fail all the time. That's a part of being a leader. Okay. So that's like the, the trial and error of like, okay, well, like for some reason I'm lacking duplication on my team. Why? Because I never teach the steps of success. I just assume that it's supposed to be known. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, that's not a correct assumption. You don't join the business and then just know what you're supposed to do. That is on us, right? We have to teach our new distributors that stuff. And so having this system in place, having this duplication in place and letting them have a plan. Okay. Because a confused mind always says no. Right. So when you give them a plan of action, you're brand new, you get your first four loyal customers. Awesome. Their auto shipment is already set up when they join and tell them about it. You guys, this is something that I realized too. This isn't something that you want to like even when they're asking about it, like, Hey, do I have to have an auto shipment or whatever? Be real with them. 
No, it's optional. However, I really suggest that you do run an auto shipment every single month because here's what it's going to do for you. And here's what it's going to do for your future business partners and talk to them like it's a business. Carry yourself like a business woman, like a confident business woman. Um, Marwa, I'll, um, she is ambassador and like, she's, she's like great. What did she have? She had like 50 some rubies. We only needed one Ruby to go to Costa Rica one in four months. And she had over 50, not a joke, like crazy, crazy. So Pam was saying last night that she carries herself as a businesswoman. People look at her, um, in her culture, which I think is Saudi Arabia, but I'm, I'm not positive. Um, they look at her like all of the women send their daughters to Marwa. Like, oh, you have to go to Marwa because she she's this professional businesswoman in the U.S. Like, you have to go to her. And she lives in Texas. She's so amazing. But, like, she's created this presence that she is a business owner. And get this. When we come, like, y'all, my, my brain is, like, exploding. Like, I can't even, like, keep my, trains of, my train of thought because of how much stuff came out. But, like, so for her... Marwa, when the $20 kits came out, she told her team, okay, again, whatever you do, your team is going to do, right? So she told her team, in order to get the $20 kit, in order to get everything that comes in that $20 kit with that coupon, you have to purchase three products. Okay. So, all right, the business, the business to join the business, it's $99. Okay. But I can get that enrollment fee down to $20. If you just pick three products that you like, Wh whose mind just was blown right now. Like what, what, that is a business woman's mindset. That is like, I am going to help you launch your business, but listen to me right now. You are not going to buy a business for $20. There's no value in that. There's no value in that. So there's no like, oh, kids are 20 bucks. Like just come join our business for 20 bucks. No, it's $99. But if you want to add three products, I can get that enrollment fee down to 20 bucks. <sighs> we just need to be utilizing all of these things that are like at our fingertips. We just have to be um, focused. We have to have a goal. We have to have an action plan. Okay. We have to know where we're going. And so that blew my mind because you want to know why she had over 50 rubies because she had an action plan and she doesn't sell anything less than a hundred BV. No joke. Like her, her MO is like doing skincare before we even had the skincare before we even had the new skincare, you guys, she sold skincare packages. She got them on a cleanse because that helps with breakouts. So she would get them on a cleanse. She would get them on three bags of collagen because it's so good that you do not want to run out of it. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? Like I'm giving you this information that Marwa uses, but what I'm trying to give you is the understanding of the confidence and the businesswoman that is inside of you that you need to have come out. Okay. In 2020, we're not going to be fearful about telling somebody that one bag of collagen is 40 bucks. In 2020, we're going to be like, you know what? I know what I have to offer. And if you want good skin, you need three bags of it because let me tell you, you do not want to run out of this. And we're also going to add on a cleanse to that because if you want this result, this is what you need. That's it. There's no like, there's no like, Oh, but like, that's kind of expensive. So I don't want to like come at them with that. You know what? If they come at that, come at that and say that that's expensive, you take something off of it. Okay. But what she does is says, okay, we can take out that cleanse, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to need to be on the collagen for six months now, instead of three, because you're not going to detox your skin. Like she knows what she's doing. She's not lying to people. She's giving them results. That's what they're asking for. Like we've been playing small team. We have been playing small. I don't know. Drop a, drop a two. I don't know what number I'm on. Drop a two. If you are so freaking ready to never play small again, Lex is shook. I'm Listen, I can't sleep, you guys. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even know how to, like, muster these into words from what I've been hearing in the last week. Like, like you guys are going to be hearing so many more things from me because I just, like, don't even, I don't, like, 
I'm going to be talking about it in August of next year. Like we're going to the next top 20 retreat and I'm still going to be talking about it because my brain is just on overload. Like it's insane. There's so many twos dropped. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped you guys. But, um, I wish I could remember. <laughs> I wish I could remember what freaking Pam said last night. Cause it was like, it was gold. I will remember it. I promise. But one other thing, um, no, I'll butcher that one too. Ash, do you have anything to add while I get my, while I get my thoughts together real quick? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're killing me. Oh, no. Um, well, I'll just take you back off the, what you were just saying. So the thing is too, um, it just makes so much sense because otherwise, like, let's just go back to the skincare example. So, you know, when somebody comes to you and they say, um, that they need something to help with acne and we're offering, I don't know, one, one of the products, the clean, the, the cleanser refresh. Um, that's amazing. And, and I'm talking to myself too, by the way, that is an amazing product, but it's probably going to take more than just one of our products to, to get rid of the acne. And so what happens is they use that same product for three months and then they don't see the results that they want. And not only do they cancel their auto shipment, but they're probably going to tell people like not in a, not in like a bashing the company way, but just, you know, if somebody, if one of their friends is having issues with acne for one, they're not going to re recommend our products because they didn't have results with it. Or if somebody does say something about it works, they're probably going to be like, Oh yeah, that didn't work for me. But, and that's our job, you know, like as distributors for the company, that is our job is to make sure that we're, we're providing these potential customers with the correct information and not holding ourselves back. And like I said, I'm talking to myself too, because I do it all the time. Like I, you know, it's so easy to talk about and to say it out loud, but to actually be in the moment and have somebody say like, okay, I'm ready to order the cleanse, you know, and they're trying to lose 20 pounds and you know, deep down, you know, a cleanse isn't going to make somebody lose 20 pounds, but you also don't want to lose the sale by offering more, but that is all mindset. Like that is just strictly completely mindset. And I love the idea. And I know we've heard this before too, but I love the idea of offering what they actually need. And if it's too much, if it's too expensive, then taking some of it off, you know, because clearly if you start with one product, you know, if you're starting with the cleanse, it's a lot harder to be like, okay. And also, um, our TFX does this and it's this much and our, you know, fat fighters, you know, so it's harder to go that way. And so I don't know, I, I'm like having a few light bulbs go off because I know that I'm very guilty of um, trying to stick to like one or two products so I don't scare them away. When in reality, that's not, it's not going to scare them away. They're simply going to say they can't afford it. And then you take a product off and then they are going to get the results that they need. And now not only are they going to stay your customer and stick around and that's volume you don't have to keep trying to get, but now they're going to probably tell their friends and family, you know, just like if you guys try a product or a food or you, uh, you go see a movie or whatever it is, you immediately tell somebody about it, you know? And so now these people are getting results and now they're telling their friends and family and they're coming to you too. So it's definitely a full circle thing and it's way more than just trying to upsell and get the volume. It really is about the person and like making sure that they're getting the results that they're wanting. So yeah, that was all pretty much speaking to myself because I'm so bad about that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I am too, because if you, I wouldn't be caught dead spending 139 bucks on skincare like three months ago because it wasn't important to me. And then I did it because it was important to my business. Right. And now I'm so obsessed with it. It's not even funny that I like, that's cheap. You guys, I would pay so much more for the amount of skincare that we are getting. I am not kidding you. And I'm not just saying that, like I never cared about skincare ever. And I, and I have 
two best friends that are estheticians who used to just like ream me because I had to take care of my skin. And I was like, nope, not happening. Like I've seen what you pay for that serum. Like it is not, not, I'm not about that life, but listen, when I started using the skincare, because here's the thing, this is a business owner's mentality, right? I've got to use something and I've got to show results and I've got to show people that I love it because I do. Right. And so it, because I had never tried it, it was almost like I wanted to prove to myself that number one, I could use a skincare every single night and day because um, I'm lazy when it comes to my skin. So I was excited about that. I made it a little challenge with myself. I got my own personal results. And now it is so simple for me to speak about how affordable this is when, if you would have asked me when it first came out, I would have been like, Ooh, that's like a lot. Of, that's like a lot of dough for skincare, but it's not, it's not. And if you are looking and you compare, um, I know Steph, Stephanie Mann is on here right now. She just said, guys, as an esthetician, my clients had trust in me and I could sell over two to $300 in skincare. If you just tell them what they need, because you're confident you are an expert in our business and being able to give that. And, and here's the thing I think that, that has some value too. If you're willing to say, yes, you know what? We can go with just the cleanse right now, but I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to give you the results that you're looking for. It's not going to help you with 30 pounds, but the cleanse can help um, detox and it can help like jumpstart that weight loss. But if you really want like a, like to lose those 30 pounds, you've got to do more like a lifestyle change. And I really suggest adding on the TFX. I know that it might be a little bit spendy for you right now, but like, just think about it because you're doing them a disservice by just selling them a cleanse. You are, you know, just like Ashley just said. So, um, I think just being more confident and having more confidence in our products and knowing that like you guys, they are, they are doing so much work in the back end for us to be able to have claims on our products to say that they are clinically proven now. Like that is huge. The company is doing the work for us to, um, really have like these claims that we can say now. And it's just amazing to be able to do that. So I'm just so grateful for where we're at and, and that this company is, taking us to a whole nother level. So, um, I think they said, I shared this with Emily's zoom just like a little bit ago, but, um, they said that they like barcode, like if you counted all the barcodes this year, they said this in Costa Rica, um, it was like 55 new products, like 55 new products in one year. You guys, that is in, maybe it's 52. I'm terrible. I'm like, I'll swap numbers around all the time. 52 maybe. But my point is, um, that is insane that this company rebranded themselves, redid the packaging, like helped us in every way possible to market these better, to make them Instagram worthy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're, they're doing everything for us. So we are doing people a disservice by not sharing everything that we have. Now, that being said, I think you always hear us say a confused mind says no, right? So there is so many products that we have now that it can be a little bit overwhelming. In fact, it can be a lot of bit overwhelming for a newbie coming in. And so what I would suggest for you and your teams, you know, whether you're a Ruby or a double diamond or an ambassador, whatever, um, I would suggest that you pick products for you that you absolutely love. So mine personally is the skincare. Like I will never not use it. Okay. The Dr. Nassif products and our skincare line. Those two are like, like I'm obsessed. Okay. Obviously keto coffee and chocolate greens. So, and then recently reds. So that's five products, five products that I have that like, I am going to shout from the rooftops. Literally every time that I make the reds, you guys, I'm not kidding you. Huntley sucks it down before I even get a drink out of it. Like she loves our reds so much. And it's just like, I just love that like our kids can have our products too. Most of them, you know what I mean? Like the greens, the super greens are so good for them. Um, and so I just, I just love it. I love that it's plant-based, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, what I'm saying is, um, pick three to five products that are going to be yours and your teams. And, and they might be different, you know, from person to person in your team, but like encourage them to pick those three to five products to talk about. That does not mean that when somebody comes to you in a private message and says, you know, I want to lose 31 pounds in 90 days for whatever reason, obviously I'm going to go with TFX. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you can't sell those products. But what I'm talking about is like, don't try to show all 50 of our products on social media every single day. That's just going to overwhelm people. Pick the ones that you love. Okay. 
and pair them in packages. I think one of the, one of the biggest things right now that, um, Jackie Deering shared with me, and I need to share these in the team bomb diggity page. Um, but Jackie Deering sent me all of her scripts and she has like, she uses word board. Okay. So if you guys don't have the app word board, get it because it is so simple. I, I was stuck on using, um, text replacement and she was like, stop right now. Like you're ancient, you're a dinosaur. Like you have to use um, word board. So if you don't have it, start using it right away. And what she has in there is like Monday through Sunday scripts. So like they literally say, Hey girl, happy Tuesday. Um, and then it says like, would you be interested in any, like, I don't even know. I'll have to, I'll have to post them. But basically what she's doing is talking about subscription boxes. Okay. So subscription boxes, y'all, this is huge. If you're like into social media, blogging, any of this stuff, like, have you ever saw somebody from like the bachelorette open a fun fat, what are they called? Fun fit fab. I almost just said fun fat fib. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I just like totally embarrassed myself right there. Okay, moving on. You guys know what I'm talking about. They like unbox it. They reveal it on social media. Okay. So these are like huge because they're like fall boxes or whatever. And they have little things and they're always going to be different. And people love that. They love it. We watch them. Right. Okay. So when you're messaging, um, when you're talking about subscription boxes and again, I'll post all the scripts in the team page, but, um, basically what she's saying is like, there's like a fitness box, there's a mom box, and then there's like a weight loss box. Okay. So then all like nothing's changing on the at work site. You guys, there's not like subscription boxes that you can now get. There's not like, this is just a different verbiage, a different conversation to have with your potentials on like, would you be interested in like receiving a subscription box and like, you know, reviewing some products. You guys see what I'm saying? Yes. Play on words. Thanks Lex. Um, that bit fun. There we go. Emily knows what I'm talking about. Okay. So, um, anyways, <laughs> I'm like annoyed that this is recording right now. Okay. So moving on, um, just like a play on words, like Lex said, and just basically like, yeah, spinning it so that they feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm getting like this box of things. And so like the mom box has like confianza and like keto coffee and, um, a, um, like the skincare or whatever, you, you know what I'm saying? So like you can pair it with whatever you want, whatever they want, but it's so cool because there's subscription boxes. So they already know that it's going to be coming for a couple months. This isn't just like a one month thing, right? So you're automatically kind of leading with this subscription monthly box that they might want to get forever right? Not just for even three months or just one month. So I think that's going to be huge. Um, and there's some, there's just some great things coming. Like I can't, like, I can't even tell you guys what's coming, which sucks. Let me tell you, it sucks that I cannot like give you all of the details. But what I can tell you is that our company is huge in giving back. Okay. Our company is huge in giving back. So that's, that, that's like a movement. People want to be involved in giving back. Okay. That's a movement right there. Um, so people want to be involved in things like that. And then people want to be involved in weight loss challenges. Right. And so, um, I think for us, nobody has ever done anything like this before. And I think that it's going to be just a new wave of, of people wanting to come together and doing things for good and, and doing things, um, as a community. And I think that it's just going to be, it's just going to be huge. So on the 27th, they're launching something that, um, is out of this world. And let me tell you, Mike Patillo kept saying this and it's going to like haunt me for the rest of my life. But Mike Patillo kept saying, you're either going to wish that you had or be glad that you did. Okay. And I don't know about you guys, but I want to be glad that I did. I want to be glad that I worked my freaking butt off in the last couple of months. I want to be glad that when this um, campaign launches, that our teams are going to be ready, that our teams already have our shoes laced up and we are ready to run because um, it's, it's going to be huge. So just know that there are really big things coming and I can't even... Um, I'm so upset that I cannot remember what Pam said last night. And I'm going to remember the second that I turn this off. Maybe I'll just like go live in the team page if I remember it, because it was, it was worth saying, obviously it came out of Pam's mouth, but I don't know what it was. Um, 
but another thing too, that I think just one last like takeaway for me is the community of people that are in this business. Like, you know, we say this all the time, but like reaching to your sidelines and reaching out, like if you're looking at some squares right now of people, you know, you're just like seeing their face and you don't know who they are, reach out to them, like reach out to them and, and like get a network of your friends, of sidelines, of uplines, of whatever, get, get a base of friends in this business. Because when you have people to go to when you're having bad days or when you have people to go to when you're on top of the world or when you just signed a loyal customer, me, Shelby and Ashley still to this day, when we sign a loyal customer, we're like, just sign an LC and we like celebrate it. And everybody's so excited. I'm jumping up and down the trailer shaking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we celebrate those wins. Make sure that you're celebrating your wins, you guys, because I'm telling you, like, no matter what level that you are at, you're still either changing somebody's life with live life with the products, excuse me, or with the business. You're changing lives. Like, I don't know. Susan Wade said this last night, like at some point in her business, she got to a point where she was like, okay, like I made it, like I made it now I'm here. And now I just feel like I'm bragging when people like come over or like her, you know, her husband's um, like work friends would like come over or something. And, um, she would be like nervous to talk about what she did. Actually, I think it was Sherry Lynn that, that talked about this too, but was saying like, she was nervous to talk about it because she was just like, hush, hush. Like she's, she's like ambassador diamond. And she's like, I don't know. Like, I just do like this marketing thing, you know, like she just like played it down. You guys, what we have our hands on isn't something to be played down, whether you're an ambassador or a Ruby. You know what I mean? Like we have a gift to give to people and we have to be willing to see that and not let our fears and our nerves get in the way. Okay. I'll tell you one. And some of you might even know who this is, but today I got out of my comfort zone so much so that, um, like I actually wanted to puke. Like I literally felt nauseous. Ashley, I didn't even tell you this, but my, one of my best friends, like one of my best friends, um, is an esthetician and she's watched me for the last three years and she has her own very successful business. She already has a very successful business, not with network marketing, but like her own successful makeup business, her own successful, um, skincare business. And, um, until now, until the Dr. Nassif products, until the skincare products, there really wasn't a reason for me to ever ask her to do this business, right? Because it just, it didn't necessarily fit with what she was doing. Now, that doesn't mean that there wasn't times where we've like talked about it before. Like she knows what I do. She knows that is obnoxiously loud. Um, she knows what I do, but like, we've never, like, we've never talked about it. Right. And, um, today we were texting and I was just like, listen, as I'm like dripping sweat, like upper lip sweat, like, listen to me when I say this right now, like before the Dr. Nassif products came out, like, I just don't feel like it was anything that would have like benefited, benefited your business. But, um, I just asked her the question. Okay. I'm telling you this, like, as I'm still sweating because she never responded. Okay. She's my best friend. One of my best friends. She never responded. And I'm telling you guys this because maybe she got busy. She's in Disneyland right now. So like maybe she got busy and she'll get back to me at some point. Maybe she's thinking on it. Maybe she was offended. I don't know. The point is it doesn't matter. I put it out there. Okay. I put it out there. I got out of my comfort zone and I did something that I never thought I would do. But here's something that shook me to my core. I'll never forget this. And I don't think Christy Bird is on here right now, but Christy told me, a while ago, she's been one of my friends, one of my best friends for seven years. Okay. She joined me this year, went Emerald like super quick. And she was like, you know, you never asked me to do this business with you. Almost like offended in a way, not in like a bad way, but like, she was like, you know, you never, like, you never asked me to do this with, with you. And it almost hurt her feelings. Right. Like, at least that's the kind of vibe that I got. Like I, I was just like, I never thought that she would want to why are we making decisions for other people? Why are we not asking the question, leaving it there? She might not respond to you. They might not respond to you. They might be offended by it. They might like whatever, like it is what it is. But like what you need to understand is that when you ask the question, it's asked, it's done. 
now we can let it be and they can either join you or not join you. But make sure that you are not the person that in three years time has somebody who goes emerald like that, look at you and go, you know, you never asked me to do this business with you. Like she came to me, she had to come to me. She was one of my best friends. Why did I do that? She could have been a triple diamond by now. Like, why did I do that? You know what I mean? Abby says the best thing we can offer is opportunity. One of my biggest takeaways from yesterday. Yes. Yeah. What I think Mike Lemire said that he was like, what, what's your favorite product to sell? And Mike Lemire was like the opportunity. That's like a, that's like a, duh. What we have to offer is so crazy. You guys, it's so crazy. And we, we can't like be hush hush about it. We can't be scared about it because that's just like, how did I ask her? Let me just show you. It's pretty embarrassing. I rewrote it like 17,000 times. I said, <laughs> okay, first I'm, I was, so, I'm awkward. You guys know I'm awkward, right? So first I was like, yes, I'm so excited. We're talking about coming home, me coming home to Oregon. I'm so excited. I'm pumped for these new NASA products. We're going to do some pop-up events and stuff while I'm at home. Now that I have no lashes, I'm so happy we have a serum because um, she used to do my lashes. I was like, and this isn't Jess Robinson, you guys. She's already on the team, in case you're wondering. Jess is a lash artist too. But anyways, so I said, now that I have no lashes, I'm happy we have a serum. I look like a naked mole rat without them. I wish we could have met you in Disneyland. And she goes, I'm glad you have that. I bet it's life-saving. I said, you know, I keep thinking how amazing you'd be at this. In the past, we didn't really have anything that would also benefit your business until now. Although, of course, I know you already have things you love and you use and love already. And your business is booming without it for sure. But since the Dr. Nassif ones came out, plus the new skincare line, have you ever thought about it at all? Left on red. <laughs> it's okay though. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm still sweating. But honestly, like, that's the thing is like, you guys, we're constantly growing. We're constantly getting out of our comfort zone. And she might not join me for another three years, but I'm confident in knowing that she will join. Okay. She will join. I know that it's done. So one last thing. Um, and I shared this on Emily's zoom. Sorry guys, you've already heard this, but one last thing that I feel like is so good that you need to hear. And then I'll, I'll like, let this be and ask, you can add anything if you wanted. Um, but is that Pam said this last night. And again, it's not the thing that I forgot. Anyways, she said this last night, you ask and you will receive. Okay. Listen to me again. You ask and you will receive. There's nothing in the middle of that. There's nothing in the middle. There's no in between from you asking and receiving. Okay. So when you ask to be diamond, it's done. It's done. There's nothing in between. Okay. Time is all that it's going to take, but you're resting in that point. You're resting there. And this was something that I learned. I learned what resting was. Ashley Sinclair, um, had like this beautiful story to share with us about, um, this, this verse that had been on her heart of talking about resting in the Lord. And she kept hearing it from like several different people in a week's time. She heard it like four different times that they were like, you like the same exact verse. Okay. So she was talking to her business coach about it. And her coach was like, um, talking to her and Ashley's like, I don't know. I just feel like you, like you can't rest. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to rest that. That just seems like I would be going backwards. Like, how do you rest in your business? Like I think of rest and I think of being in my pajamas, like sitting on the couch, like and so her business coach was like, no, 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 you have this backwards. Like we need to redefine what you think resting is because resting is trusting. Resting is knowing that it's already done. The things that you have asked for, the things that you're going to ask for in 2020, it's done. It's over with. You have it. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Drop a three. If you're understanding, if this is speaking to you right now, it's done. All that matters is how you get there. So you're going to rest. You're going to rest. I am ambassador 2020. I am ambassador. I know it. I've asked for it. So I, I'm already an ambassador. I know this. Okay. It's done. Now I just need to put in the work, do the things that I have done every single day to get me to where I am already and trust 
and decide and know that it's already handed to you. It's already done. So I want to leave you guys with that because that was like, just like, again, another mind blowing thing of like, man, we're overcomplicating everything. We overcomplicate everything. Why isn't this happening? I've been asking for it. Why isn't this happening? I don't know. Maybe because you don't think that it's actually going to happen. Decide. It's done. Now just rest in that. Don't be anxious about why it's not happening. Don't be anxious because it's not happening in your time. It's done. It's there. It's yours for the taking. So anyways, I'll leave you guys with that. Ash, you got anything to add before we take off? No. Can you just keep talking to us? <laughs> Lexus, I'm, feel so at peace. Trips here I can. I'm like soaking this all in right now and I'm I'm fine that it's an hour. Like I'll just keep listening. <laughs> um, I, I'm maybe, like, what were you gonna say? You could just like, I don't know, do a whole Zoom where all you do is talk about everything that you learned in Costa Rica and all your takeaways. And it's maybe so it can be like three hours. It's so crazy because it's like every second I think of like new things that I learned, like new things that I heard and just yeah. things like that I take away completely different, like listening to some of the takeaways last night on Costa Rica. Like I heard a lot of the same things that they said, but I heard them totally different. You guys know what I mean? Like you hear them mm -hmm. so different from other people and you take things in so differently. And, um, I don't know. I just am like, if you guys trust me, right? Drop a, drop a four. If you like, trust me, if you're like, I will follow Rochelle into like a blazing fire building. Right. Okay. Wow. You guys have a lot of faith in me. <laughs> For sure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Good, good, good. So listen, 10 X, 10 X, everything that you are doing right now. And in, I'm going to say, I'm going to say when you come to conference, when you come to conference, you are going to walk up to me and give me the biggest hug ever and be like, thank you. Thank you, Rochelle, for not telling us everything. Cause I can't tell you guys, I cannot tell you. Like we were we literally took our phones. Like we cannot tell you, but what I can tell you is that if you 10 X everything that you are doing right now, even through the not signing, even through the tough days, even through the personal things, 10 X what you are doing and your paycheck will grow. You guys, you heard them say last night, I was double diamond at this point last year. I was double diamond. Okay. Then we went on the top 20 retreat less than a year later. And I'm here pouring into you guys, telling you all of these things, but like, why again, how many of you just counted yourself out? How many of you just heard my story? How many of you just heard me say I was double diamond last year and I went to top 20 retreat and it was incredible. And you were thinking to yourself, yeah, but like, I don't know if I can. Y'all, this year is going to be a year of changing that voice, changing that voice in your head to now being, you can do anything and everything. I said this on, um, my live last night that I did in my team page, but I don't, I don't know if all of you heard this. So I just want to share one last thing. Um, but so I wrote down my 2020 goals and they're so big that like, they actually kind of make me nauseous, like thinking about them. Um, and on my way to Kay's house last night for the try it, I was like, you know, the devil was creeping in. It had been like 12 hours since I wrote down my goals. You'd think I'd just be like pumped. Right. But instead I was like, there's no way that I can do that. And like, what if Pam asked me about my goals? Like, am I just going to humiliate myself and be like, here's my goals. Like nobody could do that. Like, why are these my goals? What, where did these even come from? Like all of these things that is just like, there's no way that you can do it. And I'm going to throw up. And I kid you not. And I always joke about this with Shelby and Ashley because Florida has terrible drivers, you guys like so bad. None of them use their blinkers. It's optional in Florida. In case you're wondering if you don't like using your blinker, move to Florida because they don't use them. Okay. So literally as I'm thinking all these things, I'm sweating, I'm puking, not really, but like feeling that way, this van like swerves over, doesn't use their blinker. I have to slam on my brakes and I'm like mad and angry. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me right now? And then I read what the back of this van says, and I cannot make this up. Y'all are about to have some chills. I cannot make this up right now. It was a construction van and it said, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
boom, shut the freaking devil up right that second. Like, okay, um, actually I can do all of the things that I said I was going to do because I'm the crap and I can do it. Like, I know that I can do this. I said, I'm the crap. I meant I'm the shit, but I just didn't want to say it. And then it was weird by saying I'm the crap. So this will never be posted just so you guys know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. But, um, the passage was Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay. So as I'm sitting there, like, no way, no way, no way, no way, not happening. You guys, by the way, I already shared my goals with Cami Pentecost, which again, throw up. Um, so now I like have to do them, but here's, what's crazy. I'll share one of them with you guys so that you know how big I'm dreaming this year, because you guys are going to go erase everything that you wrote for this year. And you're going to like do bigger goals, right? Okay. So like, really, this is how big we're talking. I had one triple this year, one, and it was Brian. Okay. One triple diamond. My goal is 10 triple diamonds, 10 people on this team that is going to be making an average of $10,000 per month. Who's it going to be? Drop a five. Who's it going to be? I haven't picked, right? Sydney's jumping up and down five, 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 five. Okay. Wait, I might need to do 20. I might need to do 20 new triples, but, <laughs> but seriously, listen, listen, that goal scares the crap out of me. Not because I do not believe in all of you that are going to be doing this, but because the amount of leadership that is required to have a top 20 team, to have 10 triples come with me to the top 20 event, you know what I'm saying? This isn't just about that ring. It's not just about tr having a triple diamond, having 10 triple diamonds. This is about having our team overtaking these events, right? This is about our team setting, getting rid of all of these boundaries all of these like things that we have set on ourselves and knowing that I only had one triple this year. And instead of being like, <laughs> Brian and I were talking about it, Brian's like, Rochelle, maybe you should start with five. And I was like, don't, don't kill my vibe right now. Like, are you trying to kill my vibe? I'm going with 10. I'm going with 10. God placed 10 on my heart. We are going to promote 10 new tri triples on this team. Five by March of 2020. You want to know how specific I got? Five by March 28th of 2020. That's how specific I got. That is what I am journaling. That is what I am writing down. Y'all, what are your goals? Get crystal clear down to the date that it is happening. I asked for 10 triples. I have 10 triples. It's just time. It's just time. Okay. So hopefully this inspires somebody today because that might be 10 rubies for you. That might be 10 new distributors for you. I want you guys reaching for the stars. I want this to be so big that you want to throw up. I want this to be so big that you're almost in tears that a van has to pop in front of you and be like, hey, 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 hey. Remember, remember, I told you that you could do 10. Believe that. You asked for it. Now it's yours. Okay? So I got to leave with that because I'm like, guys, I'm sweating. I need a shower. I've been sweating all day. I've been sweating for three days. Like, I don't even know. I got to go. <laughs> But seriously, this was, this was so amazing. Thanks for letting me pour into you. And, um, I'm back in case you're wondering, I'm back. I took a little bit, I took a little bit of time. I needed a little bit of time to, to grieve and, um, just kind of be with B and go to Costa Rica and take it all in. But you guys, I am so ready to take this next year to the next level with all of you who are ready to come. And I mean, like, I better see some, some, dream boards with triple diamond 2020. Cause I just saw so many fives. It wasn't even funny because you guys are going triple. I'm so excited. Shauna says, let's go. Awesome girl. Good to see you. Okay. Good, good, good. So excited. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. And, um,